sounds good. Nice. Go. Ooh, also, we should save. Yeah, we're having such a good time and <laughs> flying through them. It's like, what could go wrong? I don't need a save. Let's no save. save run. Oh, we already saved. <laughs> no save run? I don't see how that's impressive. <laughs> you just don't save. You just do it. 7%, 20%. Controls on this bike. Um, jump. Sir, you press uh, the little black to go. Going to back oh, off, eh? to go. Yeah. Just to continue to gather crystals and see what I do. Oh, I'm gonna do such a good oh, job. No, I have to see what my mom actually said in my post. Or if there's any like Mario Kart kind of like oh. moves if you do it just right. If you hold it down while it's on the second uh, light. You do get a boost. And I think this stage is in the uh, Pizza Hut demo. This one specifically at night. It's not very good there. It's where it might break? I don't know. Oh, he's sweet. He's a cop, so you guys just be safe, alright? <laughs> One particular lane for no particular reason. Vroom. That's it. Just a gas that has a gin on it. Dumb neck of fight. No, you cannot steer while you're in that mode, so it's, you know, it's almost... get as much of a straightaway as you can. Jeez. You can steer a little bit, but not enough. Dumb bandicoot. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other stage and I'll oh. let you do the motorcycle okay. stage because <laughs> Yeah. Is this one a double header? And I missed getting demo disc. That was such a fun time. Oh man. I was just thinking about that the other day. I remember when I got my PlayStation, it came with a the best demo disc ever. It had Final Fantasy VII. It had, I don't remember if it was Gran Turismo, but some sort of racing game, which was incredible for me when I was 11. And had never really seen a 3D racing game like that. Yeah. Um, it had Blast Chamber. I think it, it did have Crash Bandicoot on it. That's I think that's why, my, I think that's how my mom knew about it. Just because the demo, I think you can, like, body slam as good as Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that I did. But, um, yeah, because it, it had that demo disc, and the demo disc came with the uh, level of Crash Bandicoot. And I played that level a lot. I played a lot of stuff on that disc a lot. And I might still have it somewhere, I don't remember. Yeah, I definitely played the crap out of a demo disc when I would get it. <laughs> See, that's that. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, that's just a nice, nice death animation. That's that quick reload I'm not, mm -hmm. not used to. 
Yeah, I remember, man, I remember having a demo disc, or at least demo discs, and having demos for, like, a game, you remember a game called, like, Medieval, or, like, Mid yeah. Medieval, or yeah, something? Yeah, I, I, it's on the PlayStation Network. Yeah, that little Skeleton Knight dude. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. You remember Brave Fencer Musashi? I know the name, I've never actually played it, but I think I bought it on one of the PlayStation stores. Uh, sales, right? Yeah, that was one I had on a demo that I, you know, just... Yeah. Um, God, there was Tomba. I was, oh. first I was first exposed to Tomba on a demo. Yeah, that and, was uh, fun. I remember. Was incredible. I, I, Tomba's I really one of those games like, we need to get. I really like that. Thing. Yeah, that was fun. I played through a lot of it uh, one Thanksgiving. I specifically remember it being Thanksgiving because I remember the Rock was part of my Thanksgiving special playing while I was playing it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good memory. Tomba and that episode of Rocko. Damn good memory. And being old enough to appreciate those things in their time. That makes me jump on the TV too. Um, God, I remember getting demo discs all the way up until the PlayStation 2 era. Yeah, those were good times. Like, oh man. You know, cause some of the time I couldn't get the games most mm -hmm. of the oh, time, yeah, so I would just play the one stage over and over. I had a, a PlayStation 2 demo disc that came with my PlayStation. Oh, it homes in on you? A little bit. It came with the, uh, I think it was PSM or OPM. One of, oh, one of those PlayStation magazines which had uh, SSX Tricky 2. And uh, Can you hit that back? No, no, you just jump. Um, has SSX Tricky 2 and I think Dynasty Warriors 2. Because I jump and he yeah. shoots another one, so it's like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm too tired to try to figure yeah. out oh. the best way to do it. Let's see. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Frog, those soulless black eyes. <laughs> I used to look, I'm trying to remember if there were frogs in any of the, either of the earlier games. You see that lightning in the background? Yeah. Lightning effect? It's You're really thinking it. Just jump, run, jump, run. There. And there was clear day, and then there was evening, and now there's uh, overcast rain slash thunderstorm. Oh, cool. I did it. I did all of them. There we go. Yeah. And this design of just having like a question mark platform, it's not very inspired. Um, I did enjoy the idea that you had to collect uh, you had to collect things in the stages in order to access the bonuses in Crash 1. I just didn't like how you had one shot at it and you could die in them. Yeah. And then you're going to save it. I think it'd be great yeah. if you collected like three things within the stage and that unlocked the bonus stage for you that you go to to any you can go to any time after that if you wanted. Oh that's good. Yeah. Uh, throw yourself off the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. Two best Yeah, I did that all the time as a kid and just barely flop off the ledge. It's pretty sad. And that lightning effect, not much worse than what would appear in Final Fantasy X uh, a few years later, quite frankly. Final Fantasy X, good for the game of the time, though they didn't have any idea of how to animate faces, so they just didn't bother. Uh, Alright, let me just double jump over this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's close. Yeah. Those, those windows look a lot like straight razors, and it's always weirding me out. These windows? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean yeah. down there. Uh, those little things, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so right here, I just have to jump in that one. Yeah, just have to jump to get that. Oh. And then spin the bottom one to get the TNT to blow. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure it will still explode and do the thing while you're on the platform. It's just you know, good to make sure. Obviously, there's a way to attack him, but I think it's best to just run by. He's a freaking blood form. I like that I feel like I can miss a spin attack and it's not the end of the world. Yeah, and I like how your spin is at the top. It's not carrying you over ledges. I think you can just go jump along. Yeah. Like, it's hard to get that angle. Like if anything is slowing you down, really, it's those boxes which are in a roulette. Mm -hmm. but I think they're designed so that if you just keep running at them, they'll be on something good when you get to them. Oh, um, man. That's so dumb. I mean, the collecting of one before it slows you down in those big clusters because you want to stop to get all up, but... Other than that, I think Wumper Fruit should have been something that you just get when you break the box. I think that would have been more satisfying. Oh, instead of having to pick them up. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, unless it's a bunch of Wumper Fruit, just... I really hope it is called Wumper Fruit, because that's all I've been calling it. <laughs> so otherwise I'm going to sound like a jackass. <laughs> it's like... For not knowing the name of this mythical fruit. It'd be great if it wasn't called that at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, where everyone, the hell did I get the name Wumper from? Everyone who isn't watching this is, is like, you're an idiot. Oh, the end is like right up there. So sick. yeah, you can see you can see the end gate, which sounds like some sort of game end gate. I don't understand. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just can't. Let's see. I'm kind of reclining on the couch right now, so I'm at a weird angle, which for some reason affects my ability to play games sometimes. Um, but, it's see if I can flip this video. Or I can just die like a jackass. <laughs> my wizard's pretty scary. I mean, the suicide is <laughs> your option. Let's see. Yeah, like right there, it's gonna be time just right. Why did I have double jump? I am gonna kill that goat. If only you could slap the goat at the wizard. Maybe. Fair. It's fair. I have two points. What's fair and what's not? I'm a monster. Oh, I can do the smash. This is the only job available to me. Don't talk to me about pulling myself up by my bootstraps when I don't even have boots. Motorcycle and the boss, and that's it for the night. Gosh, this has been a lot of crash tonight. Yeah. Fortunately, we got to crash three. And once we complete this, we have crash bash. Crash. Which is I've never touched and had not heard of until I ventured into that pawn shop. So that's gonna be a new experience for both of us. And what style of game is it? Do you even know? I, th I think it's a party game, like Mario Party. Hmm. 
just let's throw in a bunch of mini games, use leverage of popular IP, and make some money. You love, gotta love that. It's like let's get the generic kart racer mm -hmm. out there. Let's get the generic party game. In out their there. defense, uh, the kart racer was quite generic at the time. Yeah, it was like '97 or like when we start. Warp room. You must go right back to the warp room. Right, I may as well. That's a cool menu. I didn't even notice yeah. that. I think we only pressed start once. No, we haven't pressed start once. That was that was the last game when yeah when Jamie, Jamie came, came on. Yeah. So let's try this again. Like these levels are really frustrating to try and get through the time trial because it's like you screw up once. Mm -hmm. and it's hard enough to do just like this. So you screw up once oh, yeah, was, and you're just well I, I'm done. I got to like seventh place. So yeah. One, two, hold it down. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, Mario Kart finish. This gives you a little boost, but it's helpful, wonder, especially in the time trial. I wonder if these levels inspired the racing game. Like they were working, actually, they were working on the racing game before they started working Crash Three. And the racing game came out after this, so I think it was '99. What's the Tokyo Drift button square? I couldn't figure it out. I don't know. I think you just maybe if you just turn hard enough. I, I don't know. I knew as a kid, I must have known as a kid. Maybe it's cool. It's square. It's cool. It's hard to want to mess around with the other buttons because one, one mistake you're not gonna get first place. That's bullshit. That yeah. Me up. Damn it. You know what? I'm just gonna keep going to see if I can jump. Yeah, and that's one of the flaws in these racing levels, is that they put those, those pads there for you extra speed that those guys will get right in front of you, because they have to take the ramp, too. And so, it just costs you completely. And there's no way to avoid it. Yeah, like that, that's... that's yeah. such, that's it should have been, like... Not necessary to use a ramp, but the ramp should be there to help you out. Like, you know what I mean? There shouldn't be big chasms in the street. There should just be. And they're so much bigger than you. Mm -hmm. It just. There, I'm just like the jail. And now it's the next time I don't have to worry about splitting my attention between crates and. I don't know if it's possible to miss the gym on your way out. <laughs> That's cool, you got all those crates. Mm hmm Like, these are the... W these motorcycle stages are the one set of stages where collecting the gem is easier than the crystal. He's so pleased with himself. For someone who came in, like, fifth. Look at that air hump, like... I like to imagine that whole dance is just what he goes through physically when he has sex. <laughs> All of that. And then that last little pose, like, mm -hmm. that's him, you know. <laughs> From, like, foreplay to to finishing, that's exactly what Crash Bandicoot does. See what I mean? Like, they shouldn't be taking the jumps. It should be like, the jumps are there mm -hmm. for you to pass them. Yeah. Or just a challenge with that sign right there. If you run into it, you can do a single level. What was on it? What An alien head. That's so cool. I know, just these little tiny secrets. It's like, if you happen to find it, you get some cool, cool stuff. Did you ever play Diddy Kong Racing? Yes, I. 100% of that game too. Well, I, like 99%, I never unlocked the clock guy. How cool was that game? I mean, that game, I played it, like, I don't understand why I ended up liking it so much. Like, an exploration, like, adventure racing game? Mm -hmm. Like, what? That was so neat. It was so oh, fun to explore. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Fucking turn, you crashing bastard. 
trash bastard shoot. Wait, I think I can still can you just go ahead here? Because it's not like Mario Kart where, where they will just magically gain speed yeah. in order to catch up with you. They have a set speed and you can just get ahead of them. It's just that they start so far ahead of you. Mm -hmm. You are in first. You're faster. You just gotta get yeah. ahead. Oh, I think shit. I fucked myself right there. Oh, oh, no. I can do it. I can do it. And I... Wow. I got enough of a lead that I, I think I'm fine. Unless I really screw up somehow. Like this. <laughs> Put me on, please. Oh man, that's Slow nice. Slow acceleration. There's a boost right there, you go. There we go, finally. Yay! Oh, he's got cool sunglasses on? Mm hmm. Yeah, the cover for this game is pretty cool because it's him on the bike with that outfit and the sunglasses, like, shade tipped. Even yeah. though there's no shade tipping. Like, why wouldn't you buy that game? Uh, yeah, and he has, he has his little fruit bazooka on his shoulder, and then his sister is behind him on her tiger. And do we. Not complete one. Crystal. Crystal. High time. Where did this one come from? I don't know. How do we miss this one? It's right in the middle. I don't understand. I don't know. What? It's like, you're probably wondering why well, you missed this stage. You let me, let me let you in on that. I never expected you to make it <laughs> this gives you no finger. Because you you're so don't turn back. <laughs> My beard is cool. I will inflict a thousand years of suffering on you like and the entire universe. I think the evil mask is also voiced by Clancy Brown, but we'll probably find out during the short, short credits. And these guys are just throwing monotons out the window, and then like, did I get him? Did I, did I get him? Uh, oh, they're basically bojacking it. <laughs> That's vertical. What's that guy's plan? Okay, good. I was afraid there'd be TNT in there and a belly flop would be a bad idea. I was not really intending to try to stop you. He was just trying to woo a lady. It's Friday, you know. Friday night, no less. Oops. Not the worst looking fire either. No, it's not so bad. It's cartoony enough yeah. and it looks good. Especially for a PS1 game. Like, this game looks good regardless of what it's on. Obviously it suffers for its age, but like then you consider it for a PS1 game and it's like it looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, definitely. Like the Final Fantasies look good after seven. But they never look like this because they wanted too high realistic. Even nine, where the characters weren't necessarily realistic looking, still they went to that look and mm -hmm. it doesn't look as good as this. They should have just yeah pushed the the cartooniness of the characters on nine a tiny bit more. Mm -hmm. It was all, like and added a bit more color to things. Yeah. Like, it's not a drab game by any means. It's just when I think of it, it's most it's not brightly colored. Like, this is brightly colored, which makes sense because it's a cartoon. But Final Fantasy VII is fairly brightly colored as well. I feel like they got the proportions right for the, the characters on Final Fantasy IX. But yeah, they just needed to push it a little bit more as far as like making it not so serious. Not mm -hmm. so... I don't know. You know how Final Fantasies tend to get super fucking moody. Mm -hmm. Just real moody games. <laughs> it should just been a little bit funner. I mean, it starts it off. Fun. Starts off pretty fun. I mean, yeah, like sword very... fight, mm -hmm. and jump rope, and playing a card game. Uh, this, this big goofy heist. <laughs> and there's a there's a moment later on where. Uh... Zidane and VV like bond over taking a piss. <laughs> uh, it maintains its. It maintains. What are you? I think you get one shot at these. Either that or they are deadly. I spent way too long on the jump rope thing in the beginning. Oh yeah, everyone does because you're like I get stuff, and it's hard. I don't even know what good thing like if there's an ultimate good thing to get. There is if you get. Oh. If you get, I want to say. 
like 300 or over 900 jumps. Mm -hmm. Some ridiculous number. You get a card? I think it's a card. Like a lot of the high-end rewards you get for super hard stuff in the game turn out to be cards. Ooh, I can't believe you didn't get burned. Yeah, I must have been right the last frame of animation. I love that card game, Final Fantasy IX. I want that as just a physical card game. It should be. I mean, it really ought to be. That'd be fun. Like, it'd be, be fun. it would be hard to expand, so it would have to be a limited run of just, you know, you get all the cards and then that's it. But, you know, until you have all the cards... It, ooh, ooh, there we go. I don't want to go back to the warp room yet. I want that as a card game. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's... Is it? Maybe it is. Probably it is. Well, the crystal. Isn't the rule of oh, the, that game? Oh, you can still fight the boss, though. Cool. Isn't the rule of that oh, game? Oh, I did get the like crystal. The, to, uh, if you win a game of, what's it, Tetra? What's that game called? Um, Tetra or something? Or... I think it was. Gosh, I can't remember. But if you win, you get a, to claim a card, right? Remember? Usually, yeah. It's. Pen Trophy. Yeah, usually it's, um, it, it was that way in 8 as well, it's like you get to play one card from the one. I prefer the of version in 9, because 8 is a little more interesting, and I think you can it. level up your cards, actually, so that they get more powerful. Hmm. But also, it has one set of rules, whereas in 8 there are all kinds of bullshit rules you have to deal with. Yeah. And you can spread bullshit rules to other regions that don't have them. Now like, oh, you don't get to choose which cards time, you, you use. Skunk. Give me the crystals! <laughs> You don't get to choose which cards you use, you don't get to see what card. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, the boss fight is definitely a little more hard. A little more hard, a little harder. A little more hard. Yeah. Oh, I feel like he's got a tuning fork in the weapon. Uh, I Since like I'm that. Assuming that's what it is. Yeah, I like, like that it just swaps the uh, stage around and you don't have to, like, find yeah. the way back. I think it was poor, because I got a little fucking smug about it. I don't know if it's a bug or if I'm just doing it wrong, but sometimes Crash does not... What? Oh, well, what? Sometimes Crash does not double jump. Especially when I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward, which makes me think I'm not doing it quite right. How did you die there? I don't know. I honestly could... I, I must have touched him, but I was spinning. I mean, I assume that since he was knocked out... Second one like actually tracks you. Yeah. It's weird. That was sort of the death animation that you got me. That actually like the like the ball. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm hitting the... I think I'm trying to double jump too late. Uh, you have to be in, at the very top of the jump in order to do it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Right, Cool if his portrait changed, like if as you fight bosses and you hurt them, like. Oh, that second one's in the air. That's why it hit me when I tried jumping over it. I'm just dumb. Ah. Uh, Crash, jump! Fucker! I'm tired of jumping. I All I do is jump and spin.
so tired from seeing this game for a while. That was a very tactical weapon, but it's pretty cool. I'm hoping to appear in the next Kingdom Hearts. Tuning Blade. He wants to hang out in the Aladdin level of the <laughs> You can squeeze me over this time. It kind of did with this platform, but what? Is that one in the area? It's hard to tell. Yeah. It's so hard to Again, tell. Yeah, like if the camera was a little bit lower. Oh, shit. I forgot he was going to do that at all. If the camera was a little bit lower, it would be easier to tell. Mm -hmm. He's gonna throw a few more waves right now. Oh. <laughs> this time for sure. <laughs> it's definitely getting hard, and other than the fact that Crash sometimes just doesn't double jump, it's feeling fair when I die. Unlike the Rip and Roo fight, say, I feel like I have to control over it. And it's clear what you're supposed to do, unlike yeah. some other boss fights, like the, uh... Like that stupid engine you do. Engine, or in the first one, there was Pinstripe Corporo. Whatever his name was. Who... It's like, he, he shoots all around the place, and it's just not clear what you're supposed to do. It's... Crash. Kill me here. Jump. It's, I like that the enemies here are like, um... I don't know. It's a lot more, you know, traditional kind of boss battle, like, do the thing, you know, three times in a row, yeah. like, each time it's a little tougher. There's something to be said for the other one, but it's like they have very nice health, and it's just a matter of doing different things to them, but I certainly prefer the sort of consistency and just learning, mm -hmm. learning the pattern and kind of executing it in a more difficult way. Yeah. That end gym fight, that was just... I mean, because he had like five health little shots, but, mm -hmm. but it was like, it, just, it almost didn't make sense because it's like you had to just hit each part so often. Yeah. Might as well, he might as well just had a big HP bar that mm -hmm. slowly went down. Oh, duck, that was good. Yeah. Finally. Now you're dead. My time is no, you killed me. Ooh. Here we go. Soon will death tornado. I like it's called death tornado. It's been longer than that. Hell yeah. You just have to keep tapping it or hold mm -hmm. it. No, you just keep tapping it. Why'd you kill that guy? Dude, that guy was just. He wasn't even a bad guy. He was <laughs> He just likes time. You have placed us all in grave risk. Crash Coco, you must realize that you just got married last Tuesday. Very delicate. I gotta go tell his wife he's dead now. Constant care and control. Who knows what it will do? Poor Charlotte. They had kids. Awesome. Yeah, you spent for a long time. Awesome. That's cool. I like that it continues from the air to the, the ground. And, and remember how I said you can get in excess of 100%? Yeah. You know what you get when you get in excess of 100%? Huh. There is either a crystal, an onk, or a gem right here that you grab and some fireworks go off. That's it? That's it. Oh. Of course, this was back in the day before uh, achievements, <laughs> so you can't even share that with anyone. And that's it for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. We made some good progress on that.